this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver. Good morning, Polly Raindin. Good morning, Mattress Man, who I was kind of tempted to, to do the trapdoor to make him fall down, but um, yeah, that would uh, that would be really mean. And look, I can stand on the trapdoor today because Fizzy's not here. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. I saw you. I saw the glint in your eyes. The the little spark of opportunity that arose above you there, William. There I was thinking I was safe for the trapdoor, but I was most definitely not. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's go inside and uh, have my breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. And then let's go upstairs. Gosh, it's going to take a while to get used to this to, to go and grab Barnaby. Tell Barnaby, do you want to go, do you want to go for your flap? As you tell, if I'm really quick and I run out and then run back up these stairs here... Has he followed me or is he going to go through the flat? Is he there? Oh, I've got the little window. Can I see him? Barnaby, oh, oh, he's there, he's there. That's it, Barnaby, come through the flat. Oh, please come through. I'll be so happy if he actually uses his flat. He's not used his flap yet. This is like uh, with my real dog, Alex, when we got a dog flat fit. Oh, you, you just teleported. I saw that. Yeah, we got like a dog flat uh, fitted and it took us ages to like teach her how to go through. I need to uh, I need to begin doing that with uh, with Barnaby to teach him how to use the flap. He'll go for it one day and it'll be the most glorious thing in the, the world. Anyway, uh, speaking of the most glorious thing in the world, let's go to the, uh, the love garden and let you know who it is that I'm adding to it today. And the person I'm adding is a uh, Peridot. And uh, that is for this really cool kind of anime style drawing that they did. Super happy. I'm doing the little love heart fingers and once again do my favourite combination of real life Stampy uh, and Stampy Cat Stampy as I got my big cat ears and then the uh, the Stampy Cat colour hoodie. And uh, yeah, great style. Uh, absolutely uh, amazing uh, for the hair and everything as well. So thank you so much for doing that and welcome to my love garden. Uh, right, uh, let's go drop Barnaby off at the, the doghouse. Uh, we'll choose which doggy will be joining me. And then, yeah, we're carrying on with the, the game. Game doesn't have a name yet, as uh, so often doesn't. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned my um, my working title. I'm considering calling it Snow Splat. It will be called Snow Splat, unless in between now and uh, when we play it, I am able to think of a better name. So it may or may not be called Snow Splat. Uh, anyway, uh, Benton, you can join us today. Uh, so let's go uh, down to the secret base. Oh, by the way, the helpers, uh, have been uh, moaning <laughs> about this because this is the way we enter the secret base. This was never meant to be the entrance. Basically, I, for those that don't remember or it's been too long, there's an entrance from here and there's like meant to be like a code you need to do. Of course, it's so dark. And this is meant to be the secret entrance and this is meant to be the exit. So you used to be able to... Are there any boats here? No, they've all, they've all gone. But you'd put a boat here and then this would like lift you up to the surface. Uh, and it doesn't work anymore in bedrock. So, but we just use this to get down quickly because no one could be bothered to go down here. So we're going we're gonna to maybe upgrade this soon to, to make it so, um yeah, it functions a, a little bit better. Anyway, uh, let's go into the you but there teleporter. Let's press the button and a teleport off to the fun man. Okay, I think I should be just about at the uh, the fun land now. So yeah, let's go back to the the game. We um yeah, we basically got everything done in the last episode. In fact, normally in these videos, we build something in an episode and then we run out of time and then like I build way more outside of episode just to get it ready. In this episode, or between this episode and the last episode, I did the opposite. I actually broke away. We built too much in the last episode because there was a bunch of redstone that needed to be put in here and we'd built so much so quickly that uh, I realised that it'd probably be easier to leave all of this area open uh, in order to do uh, our redstone. Although the other thing I did do is I did do some digging and I dug out underneath here uh, just so I don't need to, to dig down there in the uh, the episode to make it a bit easier. So uh, yeah, let me remind you what we're doing today. So there's going to be the three doorways here. <clears throat> And basically, uh, one of the doorways is going to have powder snow. Uh, the other two are going to have just snow <laughs> that you can't walk through. Uh, you need to run through where the powdered snow is, uh, and then you go uh, up to the top here, and then you go loop back around and keep doing that. So basically, we need to do a mechanism. So uh, with the press of a single button, uh, it will basically uh, switch it. Uh, so you either have snow or powdered snow uh, on the, the doorway. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use pistons for the, the snow snow, uh, and then dispensers uh, for the, the powdered snow. So if this 
this goes, so this needs to go one underneath there like that. So there's going to be a snow block on here like that. So basically this will get extended to block off the doorway. Then there needs to be another one on the top up here like that. So as these were both extended, it would basically just look like this is a solid doorway of snow. And then yeah, the dispensers uh, we are going to use for the, the powdered snow. So there's going to be a dispenser there and a dispenser there. And then, oh, uh, Polly, do you have any, um, do you have the powdered snow on you? Oh, actually, there might be some in the barrel over there. If you could just throw some in the dispensers for me, uh, that would be uh, very, very uh, handy. So uh, yeah, this is basically what is going to be here. And then we need to link both of these up to each of these buttons. So uh, if I just break away underneath here, there will be a uh, another piston here. Uh, and then I'll have a block of redstone, uh, which will get pushed down. It's just like a nice, easy, compact, slightly wasteful <laughs> way of doing it. Because you do need to use like a whole block of redstone. But uh, yeah, I find this kind of the easiest way. So I'm going to need three of these overall. So there's like half my redstone wasted already. So yeah, this is going to get extended down to, to here. Let me just make some more wooden planks just so actually tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna color coordinate this just to make this nice and neat so which colors on this far side can i go in like third person view and see oh i, I just can't see uh, I, just, I i'll make it so like the trails of redstone will match up with each color okay so it's dark blue on that side there so this will go down to there like that and then this will have a trail of redstone uh, that will lead around to here and then it's basically just the challenge of making it all kind of nice and uh, compact enough uh, so that it all fit in and then the timing kind of just happened to work out nicely because basically every time you do it it would be trying to both do the dispenser and the pistons but the timing just kind of happened to work out quite nicely that the uh, the powdered snow would go out first and then block the pistons so on either side of the pistons we're going to have to add obsidian and that's just to stop the pistons from getting like pushing themselves backwards uh, which was um, a problem I encountered when I was uh, first designing this in my sketchbook world so right uh, let's go make myself a, a few of these redstone torches uh, which is going to lift the redstone up so this trail of redstone uh, needs to go down here and then towards here where there's going to be the torch so then this one's going to go to there like that this trail it's going to go straight up through underneath here. So let's break away some of this ice and work out where these uh, these dispensers are. So I can break away that there as well. Oh, maybe I should have brought some more ice because I'm <laughs> wasting all of this ice. So yeah, this is going to go to here. And then there's going to be a, um, uh, a trail uh, leading up to go to them. But first, uh, let's go up to the, the top and uh, link the other bit of redstone uh, going up to, to this piston here. So, uh, yeah, let me think how this is going to work. So, oh yeah, I need to add the obsidian in first. So let's throw that down, because that's going to be super important, because that's just going to, like, break <laughs> everything if it doesn't work. Then a trail of redstone will kind of go out from there and around the corner. So I can kind of go... Oh, can I break this away? Or is there not going to... Is that going to be... Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, good. So I can fit this in. So that's going to go out like that and around to the side. And then uh, we can do a trail of redstone torches. And if I've lined all of this up correctly, big if, this should line up with the, the redstone torches I had underneath there. So let me go back down into my my little redstone cave. I love my little redstone caves. I, I love the way they all link up and like you can kind of wander underneath all of these mini games for ages and just see all this random mess of redstone <laughs> absolutely all over the place. It's like it's like layer one of it. And oh, oh, this hasn't lined up right. Why is why is this not lined up right? Does it matter though? Hmm, I wonder if. I can shift this all over to the, the left. So I, uh, there's always the opportunity for... Uh, oh, yeah, I can, actually. I think, yeah, I can push this all slightly to the left. So I, there's always the option to, to improvise when uh, when doing this redstone. But I always find, if I, if I want it to actually work and be functional, it's always best to, to kind of make sure I just match up exactly when I'm doing my first design. Because it's very easy with redstone to, like, do a design and then you do it and it all thinks it's working properly but then just for some reason it doesn't work and then you have to spend ages working out like why it's not working so here we go so this redstone's going to go there like that there's a redstone torch uh, underneath it so then this trail should continue down uh, to here and then i think this one might just need to be one block higher so this would count as the bottom there like that and then i can do that up as a block here like that and oh wait oh yeah then this uh, just needs to be one higher here. Okay, so that that's that's where I got it wrong. This this whole floor is just kind of one block slightly lower. So there we go. I think this should now, if I press it, 
push out both of the uh, the pistons, maybe? Or are they out already? Okay, they're not there. Let's press it. And then, oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, they, they took a bit of time, but then they ended up staying down. So there we go. This is right. That's the doorways down like that. The powder snow is in here, uh, but this then now needs to, to be linked up uh, with that. So we got um, this um, redstone torch, uh, which is down here. We need to do a trail of redstone, uh, which is going to lead to here. Uh, and then if we do another torch... Uh, above there, we can go and link it up with uh, with all of them. So tell you what, Polly, if I place down this block there, can you put just one block of redstone dust above that block? And then this one needs to have a torch on it, and I need to kind of try and find a way to pile up to go and put that torch in. And then I believe if... Once again, big if, if this all works, that should be this basically set up. So then redstone dust uh, will lead to there like that. And the only thing I'm worried about is if I shouldn't have pressed the button first and I've messed up the timing. So this might just spew out the buckets or break everything. But let's try and find out. Oh, I think that's worked. That's what, look, 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 look. So now, now it's powdered snow. And I can go and just run through it like that. And oh, what's going on here? Why, why is there a pig in a boat on the other side? <laughs> and so, yeah, you can run through it now. But if I go and press the, the button, it should now turn it into snow. And I can't go through. You know what? I am absolutely astonished. Uh, astonished that that ended up working. But that is uh, that's pretty amazing. I'm pretty chuffed about that. So now we basically need to do that. Uh, three times in a row and that would probably be really boring for you because I'd literally as I said be doing the same thing uh, three times in a row so uh, yeah that is what I'm going to do but I'm going to speed up the, the video so for you it's going to be super duper quick because then once all three are working uh, we can have a bit of a test to go and see whether the uh, the game's going to actually be any fun What's that? Oh, what are you doing up there? <laughs> oh, it's because there's like water up the top of there. It's okay. I got a bow and arrow. I got a bow and arrow. That <laughs> I didn't suddenly was expecting to have tried to throw it at me. Uh, anyway, I, I did good. Um, I was slow. You will be glad that I uh, I spent. Oh, well, Williams up there. <laughs> Hello, William. <laughs> Thank you for uh, for protecting us all. Look at these tridents everywhere. Our bent inserts stay close. Uh, yeah, so um, it's all working. It's all working. I did good. Look. So as you can see, it's like snow here. Then if I press the button, it'll be powder snow. And then if I press the button again, it switches back to snow. Yeah, all very, very, very simple. So right then, uh, let's have a bit of a, of a test around. I'll be the, um, the, the, oh, we need to come up with names. I'll be the switcher first. I'll be the one pressing the buttons. You two uh, do a race. So since this is a quick test around, and I want to do two rounds, we'll just do like, uh, there's a lot of pigs over here. What? <laughs> Things escalated since the single pig in a boat. Right, so if you guys start like behind this line here uh, on the, uh, the stone path, I'll say, ready, steady, go. Uh, and then it's the first person to do uh, two laps. Uh, and then uh, I'll, I'll, put, I'll drop an egg down behind me. And then, so first person to do two laps and then pick up the egg will be the winner. Eventually, there's going to be a snowball in the item frame, but we don't have that today. So uh, I'll put an egg. It's in the little pit, the little redstone pit down the ladder. So that's where you've got to go afterwards. So two laps and then you've got to go get the egg. Okay, so you can begin in three, two one go so basically now one of the doorways is powdered snow the other two are normal snow they need to to work out which one's the powder snow and then they can go and run for it no oh, polly's worked it out polly's worked it out so it's partly about speed but also partly about working it out and how did william take so long working it out after polly so now i'm gonna switch them round or I could leave it as the same one is always an option you can do as well. So now as Polly uh, goes around again, 
Uh, she's going to be trying to work out which one's the the powdered snow and which one's the snow, and it's good because it only looks very slightly different. And oh, Williams gained some speed there. Williams gained some speed. He's caught up there. There's still all to play for. So now I can go and switch it to another doorway, or I can leave it as the the same doorway. Uh, I could even have like two as the powdered snow. I could <laughs> I could have them all as the um. <clears throat> as the solid snow, and then just make it so that they'll guess and run into a wall would be really funny. Right, you gotta get the egg! The egg's in the pit! The egg's in the pit! It's in the pit! It's in the pit! You gotta go to the pit! Oh no! <laughs> Polly's punching! Well, oh, who got it? I don't know who got it! <laughs> that was such a funny end. Who's got the egg? Who's got the egg? One of them must have it. How did Polly- William went down so much for how did Polly get the egg? And oh, William's got a trident though. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, see this poly one, we'll do a decider. William, you, you do the button, so let me set the- Oh, which one's powdered snow? Is it- oh, I'm not really bad at telling. No, no, that one's- Oh, I'm gonna be so bad at this game. Oh, no, it's this one at the end, isn't it? You can see it's very slightly different. So, yeah, let me uh, switch this back now. Uh, so they're all uh, normal snow. Uh, William, if you throw the- uh, Or whoever's got the egg, throw the egg back down the pit. And we'll do the same again. We'll do two laps. And then you've got to go and grab the, the egg. So yeah, whatever button you press, William, that one will be powdered snow. And then you can kind of switch it back to snow afterwards and then turn another one to powder snow. Don't worry if it all goes wrong. This, this is the reason why we do these uh, these test rounds. We'll do a, uh, a full tournament uh, after this game. So, right, let's just both look away while uh, William sets the first one to powder snow. And I'll do a countdown from five and then we begin. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a bit chaotic, isn't it? Looking this way. Right. Five, four, three, two, one. Right. We've got our, our big pig audience. So, oh, is it? Is it the middle one? The middle one? The middle one? The middle one? Okay. So then I want to be as fast as I can to go up here. I think Polly was slightly ahead of me. Oh, yeah. Polly's definitely ahead of me. Is there a trick to going fast? I think jumping actually makes you go slower here. So now it's going to be uh, probably another one switched around. You know, what? I don't even trust myself. I think I'm just going to copy Polly and see what she does. Oh, is it far right? Oh, she's so fast. How is she so good at this game already? This is not looking good. So I need to really hope now that on this final round, she goes for the, the wrong door or gets confused. Otherwise, I think I have no chance of, uh, of getting the, uh, getting the egg. And it's like punch her while she's trying to go down the hill like last time. Oh, is it in the same place? I think it's in the same place again. Oh no! That wasn't good. Is she already down the hole? That was blisteringly fast. That was outrageous. Polly is going to be the reindeer to beat <laughs> when it comes down to us doing this in the uh, the actual proper tournament. That was a pretty good test to go though, so that will kind of show you how it will be, but of course it will be uh, three people uh, running because Fizzy will be here uh, rather than the two, which will just add that extra little element of chaos to it. But yeah, here's the game uh, completely done as it needs to be. So uh, yeah, we'll see whether uh, it ends up staying being called Snow Splat uh, or whether I think up a better name and don't leave comments suggesting names for the game not because i don't want your suggestions just because by the time you leave the comment it will be too late we would have already recorded the other episode and if you suggest a really good name i'll just regret the fact that i didn't call it that so <laughs> it will be like a tease for me because uh yeah there's probably a good chance one of you would think of a much better name than i would anyway though uh, that's the end of this episode here hopefully you all enjoyed it next episode we'll be uh, playing the tournament of whatever this game ends up being called but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you or later. Bye! Have you built yourself a, your own podium, Polly? That is amazing. Bye!